What's up, guys? It's your boys of Wolke back with another movie review. And I know you guys are looking at this thumbnail going, really? This came out a year ago. I literally just didn't watch this video because of all the negative and kind of bad reviews that I watched. And I was like, today I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give this movie a watch and see what all the, the negativity is about. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion right here about the Flash movie that came out June of 2023. But grab a chair, grab some popcorn, also get ready to subscribe now by hitting that subscribe button right at the bottom right. Hit the bell icon next to it so I do post videos like this one. You guys will get that ring the notification as Wilkie myself has posted that video. And you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you so very much for that love and support that you guys show on this channel every single day. I can't thank you guys enough. Keep doing what you guys are doing and we'll continue to keep growing together. With that being said, let's get into today's video. So starting off the bat, looking at the ratings that from last year till now is not as bad as I thought it would be. Looking at it, Rotten Tomato gives it 63%. Um, Google users say about 73%. IMDB gave it a 6.7 out of 10. I myself, the reason big, I should say the big reason why I got into watching this uh, video was of two things. Now, those two things are pretty much this character sasha uh what is her name sasha callie uh or collie this woman did fantastic one she's a beautiful woman two i love the way that this supergirl suit looks it looks fantastic and i definitely think that um i wish it would have been more um with her character in there i mean we did, did get to see her quite a little bit in there but it was only at the battle scenes um i would have liked to see more Another reason was is because the Batman himself uh, that screams, I'm Batman, Michael Keaton. I grew up watching this guy on the, the, the VHS version of Batman. But overall, I would say, again, this is going to be a spoiler warning because you guys have had time to watch this. So it's not like anybody's going to be in the comments going, oh my gosh, he ruined it. I mean, <laughs> the ending, I should say that the post credit scene I don't feel like made any sense. It was Arthur, uh, Aquaman, um, Jason Momoa. I liked Jason Momoa, but I, like the ending post credit scene didn't make sense for me. Now, when it comes to Ezra Miller being Barry Allen, um, I mean, you guys already know the discrepancy up in the air about this character or this person as a celebrity and so forth. I'd rather see Grunt or a uh, Grant Gustin as Barry Allen which the rumors are now that he's going to be in there as the new Flash, which is kind of very interesting. I definitely liked the Flash uh, suit, um, the original Batman suit, Super Supergirl's uh, Kara, um, her, her suit. I love the top red part, the bottom blue, and the separation. Again, I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, if you've seen this girl's suit, this girl's suit was mint. This is flawless. Now, again, there's going to be discrepancies about different YouTubers on this channel when one likes it the other, and then the other doesn't like it and so forth. And I would give this honestly an eight. I like I enjoyed like the whole time or the timelines and the different worlds that were coming in together. Um, and you got to see Nicolas Cage as Superman. And you got to see like the 50s Bat or 1957s Batman and and uh, what was that Superman? I can't remember that fell off the horse. Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. What's his name? Google Christopher Reeves. I know it was, I wanted to say Christian Bale, but that's not it because that's Batman. Um, but Christopher Reeves in there and then his counterpart Supergirl. I just enjoyed those like mementos uh, or moments in the movie. Um, the the CGI did have its moments of what like i've seen better things on playstation uh one and playstation two but again the story i thought was good i felt like it was a little kind of discombobulated or discombobulated as you will um i can't say that it weird off or veered off the track as much as people think it does some people were like they just got on the t the, the screen they're like yeah this movie's terrible. I give it a two. It sucked. The only thing that was good about it was Michael Keaton. Okay, like, I, I don't think it should have been as long as it was. I think it was a two-hour movie. Let me see. Two hours and 24 minutes. I think that was kind of long. Um, but again, um, we see Ben Affleck's Batman, which I definitely liked the suit. It was the gray with blue. 
um, kind of more carbon fibery, weird looking armor. Um, we finally got Michael Shannon as General Zod again. I don't know if they actually used Zod or like used his as character or just CG animated and then used his voice. Like it, it just looks CG animated the entire time. Um, the Batwing coming out, the the old Batmobile, those were kind of very nostalgic. I just feel like this wasn't the Flash movie. Like, because it had too many characters in here. Obviously, Supergirl, it had um, Wonder Woman in there for a brief moment in time. Uh, we got uh, Michael Keaton's Batman. We got um, Ben Affleck's Batman. And who was the Batman? Was that, oh, I'm drawing Blake again. We see George Clooney's Batman. It would have been cool to see Val Kilmer's Batman. I mean, Adam West. I mean, we did we did see Adam West, I think, briefly um, in that moment. Did we? I think so. And then uh, it would have been cool to just see a brief moment of Christian Bale. But again, you can't put too much in there because then it kind of gets overdone. So I understand and so forth. But will there be another one with George Clooney's Batman? I mean, who knows? So... Overall, for myself, again, I would say this movie, I'd give it an 8. I definitely enjoyed it. Would I watch it multiple times? Like Avenger movies and stuff like that? Iron Man movies? Probably not. Um, I'll probably maybe watch this once or twice more um, in the future. But again, the reason why that I got on to watch it was to see if the hate was real when it came to this movie. To see Michael Keaton in here as Batman, which unfortunately he dies. Um, Batman dies. <laughs> um, and then to see Sasha, uh, Ka Callie, 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 um, she, phew, beautiful. Um, so, <laughs> and definitely is very good in her suit. Um, again, or it would have been cool to see Grant Gustin in this for a brief moment in time. Um, but they didn't have him in there. So again, can't be too complain or don't, or can't complain too much because it's a movie. I think with all these movies that are coming out nowadays, that everybody puts these movies up on a pedestal of being Avengers Endgame quality or and so forth. And it, again, remember how long it took to get Avengers Endgame. I mean, we're talking years upon movies, but it, people are like, it better be up here. And it's like, it's a movie. Enjoy the movie. Enjoy the, if you don't like it, okay. But don't bring it too down because I did see a lot of reviews um, like right now, looking at Google, I mean, it's a 3.5 out of 5. I mean, that's not bad. That's over a half. Um, people did like the story. Some people didn't. Some people thought the CGI was just completely crap and so forth. And I just think a lot of people are just, again, putting movies too high on a pedestal of no, it can't be flawed. So, I get, again, out of uh, 5 stars, I would give it at a, probably at 3.8 and out of a 10 scale, I'd give it an 8. Not too bad, not too good. Did have its po positives and negatives. But again, to each his own. So comment down below what you guys thought about the movie. Let, let me know um, if you guys liked it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Well, don't hit the thumbs up or thumb. Well, you can hit the... You can do whatever you want on this channel um, when it comes to the negative or the thumbs up or thumbs down. But I just want to know, did you like it? Yes or no? And then uh, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. So keep it real, keep it safe, and as always, keep nerding on, and we'll see you guys next time.